Hello everyone, I want to say thank you for the 15,000 subscribers and taking interest into SFM Shorts. Whether they be original or not, as a way to show my appreciation, I've decided to teach newcomers the basics of Source Filmmaker. First you need a map to start anything, Control L is the fastest way. From here on out, click this button to add anything new. Let's start out with cameras. Create a new camera this way and you can switch it by clicking this button on the viewpoint window. On this pane, your options are here. Can't move or change them? You're in the clip editor of the timeline. Like the name states, it used to edit clips, not motion. Switch in these icons into the timeline. The motion and graph editor are used to edit the movement of models. Once in the second tab, aka the motion editor, you can now adjust the camera settings. Set up your camera by controlling either using these buttons which are quick key to Q, W, E, and R, or with the W, A, S, D keys, Z, and X to adjust the height. The work camera acts as a camera that is only used for reference when working with a lot of stuff and won't reflect the final product. Next up, player models. This is essentially the same thing, and the model will load at the camera. Load a new model just like the camera. Hold control to click on his bones and points and move him around just like the camera. Holding shift in the timeline selecting parts allows you to edit the model in the selected time only. Control A selects everything, so the entire timeline is edited. Doing so is essential since your goal is to basically make a storyboard motion. Selecting the points in between, you can have various options, but the most essential is smoothing and rounding. Hold shift and use the scroll wheel to select an ease in and ease out area. Making a hand animated movie done through this method, and smoothing the in-betweens to make the movement seem natural. Lights. Same thing as before, the light will spawn at the camera. In fact, everything will. Just like a model, move around to your liking. Unlike the camera, adjust the settings in the pane here. Notice a pattern yet? That's right, everything is controlled the exact same way, even rounding and smoothing. This can lead some really cool stuff. Once you have all of your models animated to your liking, head back to the clip editor and hit B to spice up the cameras. Change each scene the exact way how you changed cameras before. Once it's done, time to export. To do so, go to File, Export, and adjust your settings there. After exporting, your lovely SFM will be done. Now you're probably thinking how to record gameplay, lip syncing, copying animations, and all those other advanced techniques. Well, Valve is much better at explaining than I am. I just wanted to give you an understanding of how this all works. If you haven't tried SFM, give it a shot. It's free on Steam with an ever-growing workshop. Take care, my lovelies. Take care.